welcome to our special tournament edition of Friday Night Sports Extra. It's summer. Rick and Dennis keeping it real for 14 years. Yeah, I guess I have to put this on. I'm the Keith Oso, yeah. Allison Leap. Celebrating 30 years of coverage. This is Friday Night Sports Extra, presented by Zivart. KXY studio, tremendous Friday Night Sports Extra on tap, and Sarah, can't wait to get the show started. I could barely hear them. I don't know if you guys could at home. These guys had some spirit tonight. Of all the student sections we've seen, we don't want to play favorites, but these guys are good week in and week out. <laughs> they, they get my vote for sure. They're just from a good division. It used to be the Frontier League, where East Valley is. We got Cheney highlights coming up later. We have to start off though in the Valley. A huge GSL matchup tonight. Gonzaga Prep and CV for first place. Let's head out there. Standing room only at CV. The Bears fans were bringing it, and it was scoreless in the first. Watch this play from Liam Bell up top to Ryan Gross. Got Juggling Whoa. catch right there, and Prep is in business, and they would capitalize. Give it up to Jake Tucker. Plows in from a few yards out. G Prep with the lead in this one. But the Bears, Bears on their home floor trying to get it back. Tanner Sloan going all huck it chuck it football. Connects with Jace Edwards. He's out of bounds. Oh, but the drive ends in a blocked field goal. So back to the bull pups. They capitalize on that turnover. Bell on the option. Nowhere to go. So late pitch out to Nick Johnson. He scores for prep. And Gonzaga prep stays undefeated. They win this one on the road. Tough win. 35 to 13. Also in the GSL tonight, U High and LC bring in the bring in the spirit. Tigers on the attack. Jordan Summers. Watch this catch by Lee. Leo Haji Haji, oh, down to the one yard line. Great catch. And then we're going to give it up to Adam Jacobson. 99 problems that a touchdown 8 1. He's in the end zone. Logan O'Neill for you. I had a second half to Chandler Chase. And what a grand pursuit he must be. Into the end zone he goes. Ensuing kickoff. Looks like the runner for LC might be down, but the ball comes out. It's ruled a fumble. Over to you high. Ensuing, ensuing a drive. There's O'Neill again over to Griffin Thorson. Titan score on that play, so a big turnover on the kickoff, but this one goes down to the wire out at LC. Dang. Look at this one. Lewis and Clark gets the win by three at Albee Stadium. Dang. Okay, so I'm from Minnesota and all. I don't mind the cold, but these guys, I mean, are you guys cold tonight? Oh, hell no. No, no, no they went. Who knows why not? Gotta love the chest pain in this, but let's go out to Albee for some more GSL action in Mount Spokane Drumline, putting on a show. So were the Wildcats. Dylan Lanello takes the hand up, cuts it back, and Leaps into the end zone, dramatic, but Wildcats up 7-0. Two drives later, more Wildcats. Mitch Spear hits Kyle Griffiths, and well, after a bubble screen, he's in 21 0 at that point. NC now punting away. It's, well, guess who? Griffiths again, he does it all, breaks a tackle. Nobody even touches him. 55 yards on the run, makes it, well, a lot to a little. Maltz can wins by a whole bunch, 56 to 14. Well, last night, a doubleheader. Rogers taking on Shadow Park. Second quarter of this one, Rogers up 16, and they weren't done. Kalia Winfrey on the screen, scampers in for six more. Rogers just running away with things. Highlanders, though, looking to crack the seal, and Xavier Wicks breaks this thing outside, 28 yards to the promised land. He's going to be pumped up. They haven't had a lot of those this year, so we're going to celebrate with a spike on this. The Pirates, though, they hang on 30 to 14. The nightcap last night, Ferris squabbling with me. Second quarter, still scoreless in this thing, and Panthers, Peyton Locks to Lucas Bacon. Will share it. They have the meat. 59 yard score. Panthers strike first in this one. But later in the quarter, there was more where that came from. Locks to EJ Bade. Turns the screen into a score, just blowing past the defense. Check out the afterburners. 59 yards to the hut. Mead by two scores. Mid on to that one. 45 to 7, the final.
We're used to the hecklers normally, but apparently Jimmy does like this a lot. I think they like rivalry games too. We had a good one tonight, one of the best in our area, Lake City taking on Quarter Lane. Let's head out to LC for this one. First drive of the game, Quarter Lane with the ball, Austin Lee. Throws it out to his left. That's Caden Bonacci. Nice first down there. Same drive. Lee. Got to keep this one. Fakes out the man with our camera. That's Kellen trying to hide behind that one. Lee then into the house for six more. Lake City with the ball now. And there comes the train. Caleb Beggarly with the sack. Quarter lane gets the ball back. Here's Joseph Vang. Good gain there, but Dylan Kaufman tries to take his head off. Later in the drive, Cole Yankoff avoids the pressure. Hits Vang, who does the rest, is CDA. Blanks Lake City in this one, 34 to nothing. Down to Pullman we go. The Hounds looking to bounce back after a close loss to Clarkson. Homecoming, he got to deck out the whip, right? This one was all Pullman first quarter. Jet sweep to Sam Druffle, untouched straight to the house. 7-0 Pullman Hounds basically having their way this time. Let's try toss right. Will Pitzer, gotta love that first name. He outruns the defense. Two score lead for Pullman. Cougs defensive coordinator Alex Grinch saying, we better not play like that tomorrow. Second quarter, more of the same. It's a staple of the program. The royalty touchdown. Mason Petrino to Ben Moose, just shedding tacklers on his way to the promised land. Blackjack for Pullman as they go on to a victory of a 42 to six final. I'll tell you what, guys, I don't know if I can make these guys wait any longer. We had a first place game in the GNL tonight. Cheney out at West Valley. Taking on the Eagles. Let's head out there. And if we're going to go out there, the West Valley student section. Oh, yeah. Let's hear from the Eagles students. You bet. Cheney trailing at the half. Early third quarter, they get it back. Josh Martin off the play action. Trey Martin, the brothers hook it up. Just like in the backyard. Eagles trying to answer. Hunter Wright swings over to Tevin Duke wearing number 18. And that's how many tackles he breaks right here. About 18 of them. All the way down to the five-yard line. West Valley looking for that lead back. And they were going to punch it in. Zach Herford scampers in from two yards out. But two yards not enough. He's just going to keep on going. All the way to Millwood. Eagles take the lead back. But the Blackhawks have a guy named Ty Graham. The coaches get up the middle. And he's giggity. Giggity. Gone. Oh, that's right. That's the Eagles. Who's celebrating the Cheney fans? First place in the GNL. Let's take a look at that scoreboard real quick, though. Cheney, and then East Valley gets a big win at Clarkson to help out the Eagles. Giggity, giggity, gone. Staple of the program along with the Royalty Touchdown. These guys know all about social media. If you want to be involved in Friday Night Sports Extra, you can be on social media, too. Just hit us up, hashtag FNSE. Send in your pictures, and we can add them to the program like this. Here are the Lancer cheerleaders getting it done. Hashtag FNSE gets you involved in the program. Some other photos from the night. Touchdown, Cheney. This one made it 14-9. to Cheney with the lead over West Valley here. Get those pictures in. Love that of the two mascots. And referee Bill Tumquest here is going to retire at the end of the season. 45 years work in the fields. Got to give it up for Bill. Thanks for being involved in the program, Bill. Man down or, or something. I don't know who this belongs to, but I guess it, it doesn't really matter. So we got the cheerleaders, and now we have these guys. What's going to be up next week? What can you expect? I'm going to tell you, we're going to be a lot more comfortable. Welcome to Couch Potato Night. tonight we're gonna go couch potato night because we're gonna need a nap next week it's my favorite night full pajamas we got a lot of fun coming up next week we're not done here more friday night sports extra more highlights coming your way cheney in the house yeah!